Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be this beautiful Spanish inspired braid updo. First, you're gonna part your hair off to one side, then just comb down the back and spray it. Make sure it's really sleek on the other side. Now you're going to take some gel as well and just smooth the hair back. We wanna make it really sleek in the front and then just comb it back. Now we're going to begin putting it into a ponytail. I kind of put it off to one side on the heavier side. Now we're going to make a five strand braid. This literally looks just like a basket and it's not as hard as you think it might be. So you're going to separate five equal pieces and basically you're going to go on one side over under and on the other side over under. See how I have the middle piece kind of like in the middle there. You just like leave it up like I'm not holding on to it. So you're going to go over under and then over under on the opposite side over under. See how the middle piece is just kind of laying there above my hand. So you're basically just working with the two outer sections. Just keep up this pattern all the way down. Remember over under on the left side over under on the right side. And see how beautiful this braid is. Oh, it's my favorite braid. I love it so, so much. Once you get to the end, just add an elastic. I like the goodie ones. They don't break. <laughs> now I'm going to be using my one of my favorite bobby pins by Frenchies. I have a code STYLIST20. These are so amazing, you guys. They're lightweight and see how they're fuzzy. This makes them to where they're not going to slip out at all during the day. You can wear these for hours and they never slip. So what I'm going to do is just start by winding the bun around and then you're going to start pinning. Now once you start winding the second part of your hair you want to go inside the bun not up and around like you normally would and this makes kind of like a flower. Just tuck in the ends and then just pin it really well. I would recommend pinning the inside and then the outside as well. That way it'll stay perfectly well. Now we're going to add some flowers. I love these ones. I just got them from Dollar Tree and they were so cheap. <laughs> and just put whatever colors you want and put on this dress. This dress is from Guatemala, you guys. My mother-in-law bought it for me. I love it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Spanish-inspired updo and I hope you try it out. If you do, just tag me on Instagram. I would absolutely love to see it. Elizabeth Yates Hair. I'll have a link below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!